Hey everybody, Matt here with Take Roads Just Traveled and today we are going to be changing out these factory style headlights for a set of projector headlight housings from Yida Motors. Huge shout out to Yida Motors for making this video possible. Without them, these Autosaver 88 projector style headlights would not be happening on the Avalanche. So thank you so much guys. Also, if you want to have a fresh look to the front end of your 2003 to 2006 Silverado or 2003 to 2006 Avalanche without body hardware, or even your 2007 Silverado Classic, Yida Motors is the place to go. Their products are all on Amazon, whether it's headlights, tow mirrors, taillights. They have so many products that can make the look of your truck much more modern, much more sleek, and give it a look that is unique to anything else on the road. You can find a link for these specific projector style headlight housings in the description below. So let's check out exactly what's in the box. All right, so I just got this package in the mail today. Like I said, it is the Auto Saver 88 projector headlight housings for a 2003 to a 2007 Chevy Silverado. The 2007 has to be a classic. Uh, it also fits on the 2003 to 2006 Chevy Avalanches without body hardware. Very specific there. So, let's see what we got here. We have our instruction book. We also have a pair of gloves for installation to make sure we don't get any crud on anything. Uh, we have a couple T connectors, uh, four of them to be exact. And then we have our upper housings right here. You can see they are packaged into formed styrofoam, which is really nice. Just kind of pull these out here. Now, because these are projector housings, uh, the uppers already have headlight bulbs in them, uh, something to be aware of. Uh, also has protective film over the lens, and then your plugs for your low and your high beams, and then these two wires, which will go into your T connection, uh, will power this LED daytime running light strip. Uh, again, clear uh, clear marker on the outside, black housing for the projector. Pretty nice. Not too shabby at all. And then they also have, excuse me guys, they also have what I'm going to assume are the blowers in this box. they are. There's our lowers. Again, packaged really nicely, all wrapped up. And let's pull that out. You can see, again, black housing, LED daytime running light strip, clear marker on the outside. Reuses the factory uh, bulbs as well. And then for your corner light, this is actually going to be for the daytime running light housing. Uh, it's nice. They have uh, they have vents built into the housings, both upper and lower housings and everything to keep moisture from building up and fogging up. Um, it's one of those issues that a lot of the aftermarket companies have, but you can see Autosaver 88 has done a great job of making sure that that's not going to be an issue on these. So, really good packaging, everything that's needed to make this install happen, so let's get right to it. So on the front of your 03 to 06 Chevy Avalanche without body hardware, or your 03 to 07 Silverado, 07s being classics, uh, you're gonna notice that you have a cover over top of the grill. We're just gonna take and we're gonna lift out these little push pins on here. You only have to remove the front, uh, the front four in order to be able to get your grill taken out. And in all honesty, you don't actually have to even take the grill fully out. It just gives you a little extra space to work in, which is nice to have. So, with that cover off, like I said, you only have to remove the front four. I removed all of them just to get the cover completely out of the way. All you're gonna do is give a nice little tug on everything, and your whole grill comes right off. Nice and easy. And that gives you full access to everything here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that little bar, just lift up on it, give it a little rotation, slide it all the way out, and this top housing 
you can rotate and lift out. Now, like I said, I've got LEDs in here, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find the actual plugs that are on the wiring harness. Just give a little lift up on the lock tabs, and it'll come right off. Nice, Andy, easy. On the bottoms, I'm gonna show you guys this. On the very bottoms, you'll notice there's this little tab right in here. We're actually gonna push that in in order to get this light out. So, just give it a little bit of a push, and then pull on that, and the light comes right out. Sorry if that was a little loud for you guys. And what you, we've got is we have a light right here. I'm gonna, these lights we're gonna keep. So, that's gonna come out. A little press tab, give it a little rotation. Then you have your corner light. That one's a little tougher sometimes, but we're just gonna rotate counterclockwise. And pull that out. Now for the new ones, we're gonna start with our uppers. Now you notice we have we have some wiring here that we're gonna have to fish. And we're all all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your plugs and they're gonna plug right into these factory uppers. Now there's a reason we're starting with the upper, and it's because we need to actually run these wires down behind all of this plastic work here and we're gonna run it back out here so that we can hook into the corner light but before I do that I'm gonna get just a little bit of wrap to wrap that up and keep these wires together now that I got some protective wrap on those wires I'm gonna take bring this back like I said all you're gonna do is just plug your harnesses right in nice and easy And then, like I said, take this, you're gonna run it back into this little hole right here. Make it so you can grab it from the back side. When you're reinstalling this upper light, make sure your tabs go into their lower slots. Make sure you have plenty of clearance for your housings. And then line these holes up, up top. And then, you're just gonna run this bar back through And lock it in place just like that nice easy and simple and our upper light is in now it's time to do the lower so now that we're getting ready to put the lower in we have to decide how we're gonna actually wire up these LED strips whether we want them to be the daytime running lights like they're supposed to be or if we want them tied in to our corner light which is how the instructions want it done now, if you tie it in the corner light, it will not come on with your daytime running light. And why they have it set up this way and the instructions to go to your corner light, I'm not really sure because your corner light doesn't dictate your daytime running light. What does is the daytime running light. So if you wanna hook it up to the daytime running light, make sure that these red and white wires, which will operate your top bar, tie into the daytime running light. The other thing that you can do is you can make it so that uh, this corner light will tie into it as well. You can just cut the wiring for it and run it over. And you would do that just by taking off that little white tip. So where to go? Right here. So where it plugs into this corner light, you can just take and snip these wires and then do another T-clip if you wanted to, or you can tie them together and then do it. But if you want it on the daytime running light, run it into the daytime running light. Otherwise, if you follow the instructions, that LED strip will only come on when you turn on your running lights, not your daytime running lights, just your running lights, which is just like your normal turn signal lights and your brake lights. Well, not your brake lights, but your tail lights come on without the headlights. If you have it with the headlights, it'll also be on with the headlights as well. And then when you use your turn signal, it'll flash in between the two. If I want it with my daytime running lights, though, I have to tie it into here. But we're going to do it like the factory shows to the corner. So with that, You've got, on, and this works both ways, whether you're tying it into your daytime running light or into the corner light, your blue is, your, is actually your ground, your gray is your lead. So for both of these sets of wires where it's red and black, the red goes to the gray, the black goes to the blue. So if we're gonna be using these little T-clips that they've provided, which we will be, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna clip onto the blue and we're gonna run the black to 
to that. Get everything in there. Grab a pair of pliers. Snip that down. Nice and easy. And then red is going to go to the gray. Again, crimp that down. And now we can reinstall our other lights. Turn signal is going to go in right there. Give it a little turn. Daytime running light. It's gonna go in right there. A little bit of a tighter squeeze. All that's gonna sit way back in there, get all tucked back. Now, remember, you've got a couple things here. So right here on this housing, uh, this little tab goes inside of, so install that side first, and then in the lower portion all right so that's the install nice easy and done and it looks really good honestly so we're gonna do a quick test on these let you see exactly what I'm talking about as far as the difference goes this is the factory uh, setup as far as how the comes with the instructions and I'll note the change that you have to do when I show you guys the lighting so as you can see with the daytime running light on these LED bars are not on and that's because I have it tied into the corner light, not the daytime running light. If I want these LED bars to be on as a daytime running light, I actually have to tie it into the daytime running light harness, not the corner light. But because we followed the instructions the way the manufacturer set it out, I'm going to show you exactly how these lights work. So under normal driving circumstances, your daytime running light is on, your LED bars are not. But let's switch it over to your running lights, which would be also known as your parking lights. So let's go ahead and flip that switch and we'll show you the difference. Now that I've switched it over, you can see my turn signal light is on, as are my LED bars. Nice and easy, no big deal. Now, what happens if I use my turn signal? You'll notice that there's an intermittent flash between the LED bar and the turn signal. What that means is that that's working properly. That's exactly what should happen. So now, let's take a look if I turn just the headlights on. Now with the headlights on, I have the LED bars on, the turn signal light is on, and my low beam light is on, just like it should be. So this is nice and easy, no big deal, and I gotta tell you, they look really, really good. So we're gonna do the driver's side, get it all wrapped up, and that is how you install these projector headlight housings from Yida Motors. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you on the roads less traveled.